Hi, it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today, I have something a little bit different for you guys. So this weekend, I went out to multiple different cities on a crazy toy hunt because I had not been out in too long. So, on a lunch break, since this was an all day, several day experience, I stopped at Sonic in Mandeville and got to chat with the manager who super awesomely donated an entire set of Sonic toys to this channel. So thank you, thank you so much to the Mandeville Sonic for that. And I am so excited to get this out for you guys. Sonic is not one of the places that you usually think of for toys, but they actually have some really cool toys and they're Nickelodeon themed. So I got my Reptar shirt on. I am totally ready to get these out. Now, these are Nickelodeon slime toys, but they're not what you're thinking. They're not actually slime toys, they're slime themed toys. So it's safe and not as crazy messy. Let's check them out, shall we? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we have Nickelodeon slime decals. We have a slime bat that's inflatable. We've got a slime squirt toy like a bath toy type of thing. A slime spoon, I think this one's going to be my favorite. We've got a slime prank, which is not actual slime, the slime part is plastic. And this is a slime chamber. So any of the actual slime type stuff is inside the plastic container. Okay, let's get them open and check them out. So first the decals, let's see what we're looking at. I don't wanna accidentally cut the decals, so I just cut a little bit of it. Oh my goodness, you guys, they're plastic decals. Oh, this is so fun. Is there one more in here? Yes, okay, so you actually get all three that are pictured on the bag. And here they are. Oh, how fun is this, you guys? And then on the back, there's a little sticker you can peel off so that you can stick it on a window or something. I'm not sure if this is actually a good idea to stick on your car, but you can put it, you know, on your binders or your notebooks, your folders, your locker, any kind of thing like that. Ooh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with mine yet, but I'm kind of excited about the prospect. This could be fun for uh, Nickelodeon themed displays or for Ghostbuster themed displays, uh, any kind of Halloween display. So this month is a great month for all of that. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, leaving those out. All right, let's see, which one did I show you next? This bat, okay. Guys, I'm a little bit excited about this inflatable slime bat, I won't lie. Oh, there's also a little page inside. This shows you all of the toys that you can collect, but don't worry because I'm about to show you in the physical presence all the toys you can collect, so it's all good. Okay, guys, there's tissue paper in here. Look at this! This is too fun, and it actually says Nickelodeon slime on it, and then it looks like the bat is covered in slime. All right, I gotta get this inflated. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, how fun is this? Oh, and it says Sonic on the bottom of it, too. This is super awesome, you guys. I've got a nephew and a niece who are going to absolutely love this they will be by probably next weekend so oh my goodness this is exciting oh okay i'm good i'm good let's open more okay this one is by the way the sonic toys are called wacky packs which is just great that's a great name for them okay this is the slime squirter <laughs> So this actually squirts water. I'm not gonna show that on camera because I don't wanna get water all over this room right now, but you can put this in the sink or the bathtub and then squirt water at each other or play with this outside. This is super squishy and fun. On the bottom, there is an engraved decal that says Nickelodeon slime and Sonic on it. It actually almost looks like a sewer drain. I'm thinking some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are gonna have a good time with these slime toys too. Okay, guys. Here we go. This one is a slime prank. Get it open. It's all made of plastic again. It's not this messy actual slime stuff that doesn't come out of anything, so it's fine. Okay, so there's a little hole on the side of this barrel, and I'll show you the barrel up close too. 
And then there's a peg on this slime piece, right on this end, that you connect together. So you're going to put that on, and now the slime looks like it's pouring out of this barrel, and you can set it down on someone's desk at work or at school if you give this to your kids or something, and they will totally panic because there is slime all over their desk. That is super, super cute. I also kind of want to put some little turtles crawling through this. I, re I know it's not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys, but you know they have to be part of it, right? Okie doke, this one is the Slime Chamber. I don't exactly know what this one does, but I'm kind of excited about it. Oh, oh no. Oh, it just kind of, it just kind of oozes. Unfortunately, it's sort of like a lump. I might've had this in the car too long and it might've gotten a little too overheated here. Oh no. But that's kind of neat. It's different. It could be a fun accessory for a display or for some toys that you guys have. Okay, this one is about to be my favorite, I think, you guys. Besides the bat, oh, I'm, I'm really liking the bat. But I am a pretty big spoon fan, and I can't wait to check this out. All right, this is the slime spoon, and it is awesome. Yep, I love it. It is a bright orange spoon with bright green slime across the handle. This is beautiful, you guys, and it's actually a decent enough size that you can use it as an adult and not feel like you're using a baby spoon, per se, but this is pretty epic. I love this. It's gonna be a breakfast cereal spoon. I also have some spoons from an older cereal promotion that were, I think, little lightsabers and they light up, so. I always keep those little cereal spoons and the spoons from toy sections, but this is really cool. This is the first spoon that I know of that is a toy from a fast food meal. So that's awesome. I am very excited. Which one of these was your favorite? Are you guys gonna go collect? Let me know down in the comments below, or if you already have some, let me know. I wanna know what your experience has been with these Sonic toys and what you think of them and how well they relate to the Nickelodeon slime theme. So. Put that down in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see so that you don't miss out on any new content. And then go check out my channel. I've got tons more toy videos and other collectible content, video games, everything on the channel. So do be sure to check that out. Share this video with your friends, family, and coworkers, and have a great time playing. I'll catch you next time. Bye.